reliable cars. Funny rage. I prefer in a straight lane, that's all I want. And you're a drag racer. To talk to Costa before the show. <laughs> huh? Let's not say anything more than that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, NASCAR superstar Brian Vickers, right here. This should be fun. Brian started all this racing thing at about eight years old, right? And went on uh, to win 80 go-kart races around the country from age 9 to 13. That's how it all began. Really? You've done your homework. Yeah, <laughs> it looks great. It looks like a great way to go. And then in high school, you you, you won some bush-like uh, contests as well. Yes. Uh, bush-like contests? I started 18, and then I finished in 19 the, uh, the Bush Series Championship mm -hmm. in 2003. Yeah, good for you. But right now, you've been through a tough month with news. You have uh, to miss the remainder of the season because of a uh, blood clot in your right calf. How do you feel right now? How are you doing? Well, I feel like I could drive a race car, but unfortunately <laughs> I can't. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I feel great. Uh, I'm obviously frustrated not to be in the race car. Um, it's, I've been through this before. Mm -hmm. As my, my parents always told me, never give up. You just well, keep fighting. So you're not going to retire right now. You'll wait and see what happens. Of course not, Rich. Um, no, I mean, you know, <laughs> we're going to do three months of anti-coagulation, and I expect to be in a car for Daytona and race for a championship next year. For you. <laughs> uh, I actually, the first time I went through this, I went through, uh, I took a Kuna, which is a bit of a finicky drug, and this time I'm actually on Zeralto, which is fantastic. It's just, you just... Take it every day. You don't have to monitor it. I feel great. Uh, no side effects. And okay. I, I, I mean, I, I rode a bicycle or so. I Did you ever hit? Yeah. That's I good. Great. You didn't take the cab to our studio, you? Right? <laughs> just got on a bike and, and, and you got here. Yeah. And how was that? It was excellent. I love riding this city. It's a lot of fun out there, isn't it? It is. It's an amazing city. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Funny. <laughs> I pedal so fast. Yeah. And it's starting my view. There we go. I always wonder why. I wonder why I broke a sweat. I don't know what I was going to do. You know, hmm. it is kind of a hazardous thing to ride a bike in the city. I do it all the time and ride to work. But uh, how does it compare to the uh, adrenaline of NASCAR? You know, it depends on where you're at. On the West Side Highway, I find it's a peaceful, comfortable ride. Yeah. If you're going down Fifth, which I like, yeah. you come right into the miniature Arc of Triumph in Washington. That's Park, right. So finishing the tour. Exactly. <laughs> That's a bit more hectic. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of it that way. Um, big Spring Cup race coming up this weekend in Talladega. How do you see this shaking out? Hey. It's going to be, I, I've never seen it shaken out in a calm manner. Right. It is always a wild yeah. race, and it's always fantastic for the fans. And it can mm. go either way for the drivers. You either you either love it or you hate it. It's, it it's, uh, there's nowhere really in between. The, the thing about the race, what makes it great for the fans, is you've got 43 cars, bumper to bumper, going 200 miles an hour, playing a chess match. And it looks calm, but it is anything but inside that race car. The problem is, because we're so close to that racetrack, because of the trick to play racing, when one person makes a mistake, there's usually 15 cars in the, in, in the wreck. And, and that, that, that's where it really throws a curveball into the chase position. I don't know if you've Sorry. seen this. Sorry, Georgie. Uh, we were talking yesterday about Brad Keselowski and how he went on a trip to the zoo. Do you have that picture uh -oh. of him with an animal? Aww. Um, that's There's him a with, a, with a cheetah. Right. But see, I was wondering if you had ever hung out with a cheetah. And you know, <laughs> actually wonder. You know, the normal thing to wonder. And I've got this whole internet right here. Why? So I looked it up and I found this, which I kind of well, have some I'm questions well. about. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Why would you do that? Uh, my main question is what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that? I, I just I said that. Me. Um, I did. I think she let me because she seemed a bit faster than me at the <laughs> moment. Um, but but I, I found her at the grill. We were grilling out that afternoon. It, it's a friend's cheetah. Um, a friend's are you cheetah? No. <laughs> No, it was, it was a friend of mine, Fuzzy, and, and, and we were in Riyadh in Saudi Arabia, and um, hmm. and, and and she's a sweetheart. She's a she's a great cat. Now until she eats, you. And, yeah, <laughs> she, she she's a sweetheart until she's not. Yeah. But but I, I don't think I was in the mindset to really think through those kind of things right. at, the, at that time. Right. So I, I, I was, think I know what you're. I think you like an adrenaline rush, don't you? We're talking about skydiving. That's what we came on. You could say that. Yeah. What, is it, what is it about skydiving? We're talking about whether you skydive into a racetrack before, which you have done. There we go. Oh, this is you in action. That is me oh jumping the Daytona. Yeah, I've, um, I have a boring life. I hit my mark. I know, right? So, I, 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 I kind of felt, yeah, I fell right there. Um, yeah. That was, the grass was wet, my defense. 
I typically don't do that. I went through a tree I, once. You should have bought a, a pair of my cleats. <laughs> I, I mean, if I had cleats, I would have been fine. The grass was wet, I, you know, but it, I, I love it. I, I love skydiving. It's been a, a passion of mine. And uh, that, the jumping in the Daytona was one of the coolest jumps. I and mean, that's my, one of my favorite racetracks. It's good. You're going to need something stronger than cleats for this next segment. It's <laughs> Michael Costa with his question about Olympics. Yeah. Okay. I don't watch this show that often, so I don't know what the case is. What about you, Kurt or Kyle Busch? <laughs> For what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. That's an answer. Where do you keep your spare tire? I don't have one. You don't have one. Are you yeah. happy the government's back open? <laughs> I didn't notice a difference. <laughs> and what are you dressing up for for Halloween? That is a great question. Uh, all right. Well, you got to come up with an answer. I guess we'll have to do that another time. Back to you, George. Uh, okay. What did you guys attempting to badly mimic part of the interruption? Thanks. Then <laughs> here comes the dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yep. Well, everybody knows that I don't really approve of Brian Vickers, but I don't approve of this illness either, so I do hope he does get well soon. Well, now, it's he has the blood clots again. Yeah. So, in other words, it's time for dinner now, and I hope you guys enjoyed this bonus footage I captured for you. Yum, yum. Time for dinner. <laughs>